Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to learn a new program we're going to watch. So today, we're going to learn about Haskell. So, anyway, the first thing we have to do is install Haskell. We're going to install Haskell to open up a terminal. Not to say. So, Pac-Man. That's why. So, the first thing we need is GHC. Which is Haskell Compiler, and we also need Cable Install. So then it should install all of those. But anyways, so anyways, then, so now I'm so right now I'm using VS Code. You can use any code in this you want. So we're gonna create a new file. What to name it? Intro. Dot hs. So anyways, so anyways, the next thing I'm going to do, so, the first thing we have to do is make the main function, Wait, but before we start coding in Haskell, yeah, we're going to install the Haskell extension. So we can install this Haskell language sports extension. So first we need to make a main function. So what's it right? Main is equal to do. So I'm going to say put stir again. So what's the right hello world? Oh. Those, so it, it's optional to put these brackets. So it was to run. So, so to run the file. So to run the file, we have to write. We have to write ghc dynamic intro dot hs. So now the file has compiled. So to run the files, I write out slash intro. So now it runs the file. So we can say DHC dynamic intro that yes and dot slash intro. So it was So it was so I'm just gonna add brackets here. And it still says the same thing. Also, you'll notice that when you compile it and you run it, it's going to generate these, these files. But just to leave them. So anyways, this we're going to learn about our variables. So to make variables, so to make variables outside of the main function, I have to write the variable name, equal sign, and its value. So if you want to join a string with a variable we write plus plus so it's hello plus plus name no says that so if we change this variable there's no changes in here as well so anyways so the different types of variables oh yeah also to make tabs that have go write these two I mean these two dashes. So this one is a string. A string is a text. I mean a string is a piece of text. So what do I say string? Because we have quotation marks. And then there's an integer. So So an integer 
is a number. So I always so so I'm going to say plus. I'm going to say number. I'm going to add that to the number variable. Now choose this. There's no instance for num arising from the literal five. Now simply, what does that mean? Is that this number is not a string, so we can't include it as a string function. To fix that, we write show. Now it shows the number. So anyways, we find the clear variables inside the main function. Oh, let me just cut this. But if we run it again, it didn't work. It was said we should put to let. So if we want to make variables inside the main function, you have to add a let. So always, next thing we want to learn is user input. So let me just tag out all of these. To say user input so and then so to make to do user input first we need a variable so we're going to say user name also we don't need to put what here since this is user input so we're going to say user name and then we have to write a last dead sign and a dash and then I'm going to say get line. So, anyways, so anyways, the reason it's not working is because we have to actually access this variable. So, I'm going to say put stir ln. Your name is. I want to say user name. So now it's just blank. So we write something. Says your name is what you wrote. So, at least. <laughs> So the difference between so there's a difference between putster and then another function called putster. So if I say putster hello, this is hello. That also shows this sign. We just shows that sign. It's because it's because there's no new line after it. We should write putster. Oh, again. We want to be joined together. But the put stir LM, it makes a new line. Whenever we, it makes a new line whenever we write. So we have that. So anyways, well, so anyways, next thing we're going to learn about is yeah, I mean is uh yeah type declaration. If we want to declare the type of variable before making it. 
So I'll put to C. Name. Equal to Zach. I'll put to sort on name. So it's so it says it. You can try to type this variable. Just say name for these two columns. Just say string. about that later so the last thing we're going to learn about is lists so to make a list so I'm going to say names is equal to you can put different things in here So anyways, if we write let's do a line. names So it said that it expected a string because in put store line you can only put strings. So I have to write show names like how we did was the integers. Now it shows the list. If we want to show an item of the list, so we don't need to show anymore since the item, all the items of the list are a string. We have to write two exclamation marks and then the item of the list. So name zero is the first item. And you want the second item and so on. So I can make a variable called first name is equal to names one we'll print first name yeah, actually the first name is supposed to be names zero so yeah that's how to use so that's how to use lists so anyways that's the end of today's tutorial if you've enjoyed please like and subscribe so bye